So a lot of people comment, email, you know, message me asking, why can't I lucid dream? Okay. They feel like they're doing everything they can. They're practicing techniques, you know, doing reality checks, writing dreams down, but they just can't seem to have a lucid dream. Um, and so this video is going to be asking, addressing why you might not be having a lucid dream and what you can really do to, uh, to have one <laughs> like, as quickly as possible. So you've seen my other videos that say how to lucid dream tonight, how to lucid dream in nine seconds, etc. The truth is that really it comes down to building up some skills. So yes, there are techniques you can use that I've spoken about, which will let you lucid dream tonight or very quickly uh, if you practice them. The trouble with those is that they often involve interrupting your sleep and setting an alarm for sort of four or five in the morning. Not everybody, will, not everybody wants to do that, okay? That's difficult, it's annoying. You don't really want to interrupt your sleep. It's not good for you to do that every single night. So really, you need to practice building the skills. And so if you haven't had a lucid dream or if you feel like you can't have a lucid dream, you really just need to practice the skills every single day. It's just like bodybuilding. You wouldn't expect to go to the gym once and then have a mass, like a, a really incredible body that night, would you? So really, you need to practice what you need, the, the skills you're going to need, and those are self-awareness. Uh, you know that comes down to meditation, reality checks, um, dream recall. So that comes down to writing your dreams down every morning, even if you feel like you can't remember them. Just write something in your dream diary. Um, and then obviously induction techniques that you can use if you want to, but you don't have to. So ultimately it comes down to self-awareness and dream recall, which almost are both the same thing. Self-awareness, dream recall, being aware of what's happening and being lucid throughout the whole process. It's not just about being lucid at night in your dreams. It's about being lucid all day long and just not being on autopilot, right? So the, there are some simple ways and I'm trying to think of the best way to address this. There are some simple ways you can do um, reality checks throughout the day. For example, you could put stickers on all of the doorways you pass through most often. You could put a reminder on your phone and just sort of do reality checks whenever you can. That's one way of doing more reality checks. And then with the dream recall side of it, all you need to really do is just keep a dream diary by your bed, write down everything you can remember the next day. And if you can't remember anything, which you know a lot of people can't, if you can't remember anything about your dreams, then just write no dreams recalled. And then as you go on, you know, day after day, week after week, you will remember some. Because by writing no dreams down, no dreams recalled, you're telling your subconscious mind that you want to remember them. So eventually it's going to tell you. You're going to remember them, right? And, you know, I know that a lot of you are probably expecting some detailed, complicated answer to this. But my videos are unscripted. And to be honest with you, that is the main reason or reasons why you can't lose a dream. You're either not doing enough reality checks or you're not writing your dreams down or you're just not remembering them well enough. And those things are very, very easy to fix. Okay, all you need to do, as I said, is just follow those steps, build up the skills that you need for that. So remember your dreams, do reality checks, write them down. And then on top of that, you can decide if you want to, you can use techniques like induction methods, you can use supplements, but really I would advise ignoring all of that and ignoring even all of the techniques that are out there uh, until you've actually mastered writing your dreams down, remembering your normal dreams and just doing reality checks, okay? I would even say to ignore all lucid dreaming techniques, okay? Ignore all, all techniques, all supplements, all masks, everything like that until you've been meditating every day for at least two weeks, okay, every morning you've been doing reality checks 10 a day at least, okay? And you've been writing your dreams down every single day for two weeks. It, if you want me to be honest with you, that's the best way of lucid dreaming because that will make sure that it happens naturally without having to rely on things like supplements and masks and that sort of stuff. And then when you try the techniques later, right, it's gonna be so much easier because you've already built up the skills. So that's it. Just That's really literally all you need to do, guys, um, is just practice those things. So if you've not been able to lucid dream, just ignore everything else and just do meditation every morning for five to 10 minutes, write your dreams down and do reality checks. That's literally all you need to do. And then once, once you've done that for a couple of weeks, yeah, then you can move on to techniques, to induction methods, to supplements, masks and everything like that. But until then, I feel like you're just going to be wasting your time. And that's the truth. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, let me know how you guys get on and I'll see you next time.